Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this commentary is not so much about the gameplay. I think I just popped in Onslaught's live stream and started playing with him. I run around, I think with a shotgun, like some sort of jackass playing the objective. Whatever. This video is different than most of my videos in that this commentary is not really for you. Uh, instead, this commentary is for one person, my friend, Danielle. So, uh, Danielle's a, a long-term family friend, nice nade Woody, and uh, she was actually my wife's friend in high school right so they were good friends we didn't go to high school together and um uh after a while you know your your wife's friends become your friends and and that's just sort of the way that that goes so uh so yeah i, I consider danielle my friend and recently they had to put their dog to sleep which is which is a shame um if you guys have never been through this process before then like this is this is what the the physical side of it is like um you're uh they they put you in a room and they give your dog some sort of medicine to relax them to sort of settle them down to calm them whatever and uh um the dog like lays still and and you know, doesn't really move after it gets that first dose of medicine and then they put something else in the dog that that kills it that's that's how it goes it's kind of a peaceful thing it's kind of painless uh, I've, I've been there a couple of times and uh um, cause I've outlived, you know, everybody, I'm 7,000 years old and, uh, you know, it, it's, you're not like hurting the dog, hurting in the sense of like causing pain, but you're killing it. And, and there's a lot of guilt that goes around with that. In, in some of the dogs we put down, like we had a dog named Brandy and we had to put her down and Brandy was easy. And this is why uh, she had cancer the, the cancer was in like her mouth and in her brain. And you could tell that she was kind of okay with it. Like it wasn't causing her a tremendous amount of discomfort on a day to day basis. And then over like one Friday, she just kind of fell off a cliff. You know, all of a sudden this dog was, went from, you know, being a regular dog that, that bled in her mouth sometimes to being a dog that was, you know, was struggling to breathe, you know, labored breathing, which is one way that dogs show pain. And, and it was just terrible. And, you know, the decision to put her down was an easy one because the timing around it was so obvious. Now is the time that this dog needs to be, you know, put out of her suffering. That That's sort of the deal. Uh, we've had other dogs like my childhood dog, Candy. Camby was being attacked by fleas. She didn't have the flexibility to like even scratch herself. She um she was fat. She had some sort of brain thing that made her feel like she was always starving. It was rough on her, but it wasn't like she was acutely in pain. She if we had put her down 6 months earlier, I think that would have been a justifiable call. If we had put her down 6 months later, I think that would have been a justifiable call too. And I was part of the decision. I, I was, um, I was young. I was like 18, but I was old enough to, you know, be involved in family decisions. So, uh, um, you know, I, I made the call to put her down. It was unanimous. Everyone in the family felt the same way. And then I was guilt ridden with it. I felt like I had done this to her. I absolutely wanted her back. I, I changed my mind. I didn't want her to be put down anymore. That, that was just the deal. And uh, I, I don't know, you know how else to say it. I, I felt terrible. And that's kind of where Danielle is now. I don't know if she regrets the decision, but she definitely feels responsible for it. She definitely, you know, is in this place where like, she, she saw, you know, like three days from now, I'm going to kill you. Two days from now, I'm going to kill you. You know, tomorrow, I'm going to kill you. And then, you know, she did. And, you know, that, that it's, it's not meant to be me passing judgment. It's just like, that's, that's how this goes on. And, uh, you know, you can say, put her to sleep or whatever, but everybody you know, knows what that means. And, and this is the decisions that, uh, that grownups have to make sometimes. And it's, it's just rough. My thoughts to her on, you know, like <laughs> how to cope with this afterwards. Like there's a couple things I, I have in mind. One of them, and this is a big one is to forgive yourself. Uh, you, you need to remember that, uh, you know, you, you're responsible for your actions, but not for your thoughts, right? You know, as you go through this process, as you, you know, work your way and you grieve and you do whatever, um, if you start daydreaming about another dog, that's okay. 
that's okay because it it's, it happens you know you, you're you're not responsible for your thoughts only for your actions if you have a passing thought where you think like man you know life is a little smoother now that um that you know the, the dog isn't around for me to clean up after constantly remember this dog is 15 years old if you've ever had a really old dog you know what a mess they can be um you know that the, the carrying them on stairs and everything. And if you're thinking to yourself that life is a little smoother without her, you can forgive yourself for having that kind of thought, you know, that that kind of thought happens. So, um, um, yeah, it did. I, I had thoughts like that too. You know, we put a dog down and I started looking forward to the next one. And then I was like, Oh my gosh, you know, and, am I allowed to look forward to my next dog? Am I bad for thinking this? Am I like, is, is this okay? Did the next dog motivate my decision to put this one down? It didn't. I didn't want these dogs dead. It's just dogs don't live as long as people. And that sucks about dogs. It's just, it's just how that goes down. And it, it's sad, but it's, it's how it is. So, you know, to Danielle, it, as you know, right? Danielle's my age. It, life can be relentless sometimes, right? It, it, it seems like if somebody has a medical issue, somebody has an emotional issue, somebody has uh, a financial issue, and, you know, all these things just kind of, you know, go at you, go at you, go at you, you know, whatever demon it is and I'm you know this sounds like a theology type thing it's not meant to be but you know whatever it is that that's responsible for for you having to you know cope with this that it it just never ends it it's just it, that that's how it goes but you know there will be happier times as well you know that that that's coming your way and 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 this gets better and and you know that so um yeah anyway to Danielle you're you're in my thoughts. I, I wish I knew, uh, you know, it, I, I wish that I had some magic combination of words that could make this all better for you. I, I wish there was something I could say or do that would make you go, oh, right, you know, that's all good. Thanks. I'm better now. But there isn't, right? You know, all, all these sadness things, like the only cure is time. But, um, you know, like I keep saying, you know, the, the advice that I will give you on this thing is that, you know, you need to know that, that you're okay, that, that you had Daisy, Daisy was the dog's name, you had her best interests in mind, and, uh, you know, this, this is just the hard part about having dogs, you know, the, <laughs> the worst part about dogs is the fact that you outlive them, and, you know, the, I, I know people who've had dogs that they love so much that they decided to never have another dog, that they're just like, that's it. I can't take that kind of heartache anymore. Uh, I know people with Great Danes who don't have Great Danes anymore because they don't live forever. And and that's that's just sort of the deal that they have. So, uh, um, I don't know. You, you have my sympathies. I hope that you're okay. And, uh, um, you know, keep your chin up. This uh, It's hard, but it, it doesn't last forever and uh, in time. You know, she'll just be a happy memory. So, uh, good luck, kiddo. All right. If you enjoyed the commentary and you're new around here, you can click on subscribe in the top right. If you're not new, you can always click like. Everybody likes likes. Uh, two videos you may have missed. The top one is about the new downloadable content that's coming soon. It's actually a two-part series because I made a mistake. But, um, you know, that people make mistakes. And the bottom one is about my big day, about my decision. My, my leave of absence at Cisco is up. So, uh, you know, time's up. Time to make a decision. And, uh, and I talk all about it in that video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this stuff and have a good day.